What is progress anyway? Are we making any? Do you feel progressive? <laughs> How many people here are familiar with the concept of evolution? Yeah, few, I guess. How about the concept of conscious evolution? Do we have any consciously evolving participants here? For those of you who aren't aware, we'd love for you to just look it up, get involved. We are taking responsibility for nurturing our single cell in the superorganism of humanity, of which we are obviously all a part. What does conscious evolution mean to you? I don't know. So, uh, I've never heard of it. So Jenny, yeah. who's your friend here? Oh, isn't she beautiful? Oh, she is. <laughs> Her name is Zero Waste Zelda, and she is basically the embodiment of living zero waste and more sustainably. So you'll see her clothes are second hand. Um, she is using like reusable bags, got the reusable cup, straw, and cutlery. Um, and she also takes public transit. Of course, she's zero waste Zelda. <laughs> Sweet, so that's what she represents. What do you represent, just her? Um, I represent the Department of the Environment. Actually, I, I normally work on a cigarette butt litter abatement program um, because cigarette butts are like the most littered item in the world. Why don't we abate them immediately? Exactly, right? You know, the Bay Area is no exception. We got like three. Can you help us that we want to abate the cigarette butts? <laughs> Yeah. Abate the butt. That could be a campaign. Hashtag abate the butt. I'm going to take that. Thank you. All yours. I'm Jenna. Hi, Jenna. What are you doing at Earth Day? Oh, my God. Just like saving the planet. Okay. I want you, you to come out and physically plant a billion trees with us right now. Whoa, you're going to plant a billion trees right now? Yeah. We are promoting conscious evolution. That's it. Because every tree we plant is like one pine needle. Mm -hmm. Right? And... Why do we have to keep going around putting pine needles in the ground if we could, like, heal and not be destroying them to begin with? And so in order to make radical enough change to reach that level of nurturing of ourselves, each other, and the planet itself, we would need to consciously evolve into literally a new form a new thinking, a new mindset. It changes the culture, has yeah. the power to change biology, uh -huh. right? I really, really, really love that. Conscious evolution. Killing it. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, because I, wait, I forgot. Wait, did anyone tell you guys yet today? Did anyone tell us? How freaking awesome you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, this cool chick Jenna from yes! the Nature Conservancy. Yes, uh, awesome but she's got, there. she can't be talking about how awesome we are anymore because she's got to go plant a billion trees. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mother Earth thanks you. What do you think about conscious evolution? I don't know what it is. Thank you. <laughs> Probably doesn't think much about it then. <laughs> Not yeah. often. No, but I'm thinking about it now. Good. Awesome. And you're here at Earth Day. So what do you think? Of, what is all this be the change thing? What does that mean even? I mean, you can't expect others to change the world for you. You got to go out there and do it. You know, it's, uh, it's collective action. It's collective mindset. All that sort of stuff, you know. Like, if, if you're not taking the action, you can't expect anybody else to. So, Earth Day, you know, behave. And everybody else will behave, too, hopefully. See that thinking right there? That is conscious evolution. Ah, I learned what I mean? something. Hey. <laughs> no, no, there it is. And we always wrap with a hug, man. Thank you. Thank you. Do you, do you talk about conscious evolution in the Philippines? Yeah. Do you like to save water or waste it? Save it. You're a good girl, aren't you? Can you give me a high five? Right on. How about a hug from mom? Thank, Thank you so much. Bye. We love you, ladies. Bye. We talked about the blending of culture and science. We've talked about conscious evolution. We've talked about taking personal responsibility, being the change. What does that mean? What would that look like? Where are the blueprints for the love paradigm and this utopia to which we all want to evolve that of course it nurtures the earth, of course it nurtures human beings, animals, plants, and all living things. What would that look like? Well, I said if you care about the environment, one of the best ways you can help is by being vegan. It reduces uh, a lot of demand for water, a lot of the waste that comes from animal products. It's a great way to use less land to feed more people. And uh, it's also a very compassionate way to live, so highly recommend it. Beautifully put. And what do you think about conscious evolution? Conscious evolution is, is the way I, I hope I feel the spirit today. I hope all of us have a little bit inspiration to think more about our neighbors, our friends, our planet. So 
I think it's wonderful. It's a beautiful thing. Keep being the change, brother. <laughs> right? Bring it out. How about a hug, man? Or think specifically, I'm like, why not? You know, why am I? Why not pay a mural that everyone's contributed to? You care about the planet too. Oh, for sure. I live in it. How could I not? Right. How could I not care? About it? I love talking to fellow humans. We're so great. We're so smart. You know, you can't have this conversation with a dog. <laughs> I mean, they're cute. <laughs> what do you uh, What do you think about conscious evolution? Conscious evolution? You'd have to teach me. I don't know what that is. Oh, awesome. Well, um, you know that whole be the change thing? Like, what right. does that even mean, right? It means, as a human, we often kind of like... Sorry. We think that we, we can't do anything because it's like, oh, it's just one human. What change can I make? Yeah. But you can. It's like, if everyone had that mentality of I can do it, then you already have a whole group of people doing, you know, making a difference. Okay, see, you, my friend, have consciously evolved. You are evolving. You're literally creating a new form by what you're doing with your mind when you open yourself to that. Right. That's conscious evolution. Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> oh, I didn't even know it. It almost was like subconscious, I didn't even know I was doing it. You're brilliant. <laughs> yeah, what does conscious evolution mean to you? Conscious evolution is uh, really being aware, mindful, present, and when and coming into the center and if we're really here and, and, and think about what we're doing. Yes, because how are we gonna go forward if exactly. we don't pay attention to what we're doing? Exactly. Can we have a hug, please? Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. So, what does conscious evolution mean to you? Oh boy. Um, well, I think that you can actually always choose for the better. You can always choose to improve yourself. You can always try to change the world. It does not have to be something big. You can pick up a piece of trash on the beach and dispose of it properly. Guess what? You've done something for the world today. Yeah. So, and, and just you know, getting together with other people who are interested in what we can do, what's out there, what we may do in the future, and there's no reason to despair. We can always make it better. Yes, yes, and it is indeed that process about which you speak, of creating community, of being the change, of making the conscious choice to evolve our thinking, our be and therefore our being and our world, right? Exactly. I'm going to talk about it. Jock Fresco, Roxanne Meadows, and the Venus Project they founded because that is where it's at. You want to love Paradigm? You want to consciously evolve? Check out Venus Project at thevenusproject.com. In our quest to determine the most valuable place to direct our energy, our effort, our resources that we have to share, We've looked at a lot of institutions, nonprofits, organizations, many different entities that are making a difference. And yet, the problems still persist. We still see the damage we're doing, we feel it. And so, in our quest to find more effective means of, of creating a nurturing, thriving world, the one concept that seems to undercut it all is the resource-based economy idea concept developed by Jock Fresco and co-founder Roxanne Meadows at the Venus Project. Is anyone here familiar with the Venus Project? Wonderful. So we want you to go to thevenusproject.com and check out the Venus Project because honestly, of everything that we've looked into that are worth supporting, promoting, giving our effort and our energy to, it's the one that resolves it all because we agree that the precious resources provided by this earth, that beautiful sun up behind me, are the common heritage of all beings on this planet. Let's share them as though they were so. Were we not taught as children, share and share alike, sharing is caring, let's take on the ultimate sharing. Thank you. You guys ready for some entertainment now? <laughs> Enjoy the show.